This is Pranav Guha Thakurta from Edu TV. Today, we have with us Dr. Chattopadhyay, Dr. Atish Chattopadhyay, who is the Vice Chancellor, Vijay Bhumi University, Karzat, Mumbai, and Director, IFIM College, Bangalore. Sir, welcome. Uh, sir, thank you. We would like to have your like uh, impression, advice, and views. How this new education policy will help higher education? in the coming 10 years first of all uh, the new education policy is a very welcome step which is coming after almost 34 years the last education policy happened in 1986 what the new education policy envisages is something which is in tune with the changes which has happened over the years particularly in terms of the changes in the technology and to the way the uh, you know the economy has changed you know today's economy is more like a gig economy okay right. which means it is plug and play so you recruit uh, when you require so the concept of lifelong learning is almost gone you know lifelong employment so to say uh, the concept of lifelong learning is in okay so what is happening today is that you know, you need to continuously uh, learn, unlearn, and relearn. That is the key factor. And the new education policy, particularly for the higher education space, envisages that. Number two, as we look forward to a life expectancy of 100 years, you know, you start your education, you finish your education, you work for 30 years, you retire, and maybe your life expectancy is 70 means you retire at 60 and 10 years you are you know on your retirement that is not going to work if somebody is to live for 100 years uh, the person needs to work for at least 80 years which means multiple careers become important if the multiple career becomes important at an early age it is very important that there is an exposure to multiple disciplines so that the adaptation becomes you know, easier. Number two, today's education is very one track, the way it is today. Okay. That moves towards, you know, more holistic education, which is very, very crucial. So education, which is holistic, education, which is multidisciplinary, and education where learning can happen over a period of one's entire lifespan. I think that those are the key changes or the key in ingredients which has been envisioned in the new education policy.